How's it going everybody? Adin here once again and I'm bringing you some more action from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Today we're jumping in with an Esper control list. Now this list is so powerful. It's ranked me up all the way from Diamond Tier 3 to Diamond Tier 1. We get there in the end of the video so watch out for that and I'm having the best time playing it. It seems to answer everything. Control matchups, creature matchups. It's even got a little bit of mid-range shenanigans. So let's see what you think. As always, everyone, before we jump into that deck tech, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, catch me on twitch.tv five days a week on the link down below. Let's check out that deck. So let's have a look. This list is very similar to some of the Esper and the Mir list that we've played in the past. You know the old shell with the Leer, the Hallbreaker Horror, Memory Deluge, Teferi, the Celestus to keep ticking you over, getting you new cards, gaining you a little bit of life, and all of those excellent removal spells. The Mihor Massacre, Vanishing Verse, Infernal Grasp. We've even got the Soul Shatter and the Fading Hopes, all of which work really well with the Hallbreaker and the Leer. However, with the new set with... Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, we've been able to introduce some really new impactful powerful cards and also shore ourselves up with some cards from previous sets. So we've got March of the Wretched Sorrow. This allows us to gain a little bit of life. Now this is something which is really important. It also hits creatures and planeswalkers. Oftentimes when we're playing these lists, we have very limited ways of gaining life. But actually in this list, we're oftentimes going to end up with higher than 20 life. So let me just walk you through some of those avenues. We've also got, uh, we're also bringing back rather, the check for traps, the negates, the devouring disruptions and the disdainful stroke. The meta is turning towards a little bit more controly at the minute. So we do want to shore ourselves up in the early game. We're also introducing two new planeswalkers, the first of which is Kaito. Now Kaito um, enters the battlefield, it creates a blocker, it phases itself out and it just acts as a really well-oiled, glorified card draw spell. Really impactful. I haven't yet been able to emblem it. Um, however, I don't need to. It's there, it's a target for your opponents, and in the meantime, you might be able to get two, three, even four cards off of it. Absolutely exceptional, especially for free mana. We also have what I think is one of the most powerful cards that have been released in the new set, and that is the Wandering Emperor. Now this is able to flash itself in and exile a card at instant speed, gaining you two life. Now there's a couple of cards in the format which are really pervasive, which are difficult to deal with. Uh, for example, Edgar, which our Vanishing Verse and our Infernal Grasps rather don't deal with because it goes and makes itself into a artifact or enchantment. I always forget which one, but the Wandering Emperor really deals with that and it's a really impactful card. And um, it doesn't really protect itself afterwards because you have to kill it to make the 2-2. Two -two. But you can put the counters on maybe the Leer or the Hallbreaker Horror. Not really very useful. You just want it as that four mana instant speed exile spell. And if it sticks around, it sticks around. And in terms of the lands, we haven't really done too much. There are some additional lands we could think about putting in. But for now, we're just playing a one of Hall of the Storm Giants and a one of Hive of the Eye Tyrants. The deck is doing more than enough. In the sideboard, we've got um, a complete control package, really. Negates, Test for Talents. Two tech for traps. The go blanks. There's lots of um, graveyard recursions still around. In terms of the removal, we go three R of power word kill, one more soul shatter, and two doom scars. We've even got a Teferi and as our final card, an additional meat hunt massacre just for those, you know, heavy creature decks. So I've been really happy with this. Let's jump into those games and let me know what you think of the deck in the comments down below. Wish us luck. Eddie Zilla. Bum, bum, bum. Right, back to winning ways. Uh, yeah, this is fine. I mean, if we can if we can get this Celestus down early doors, I'm happy with that. Um, mm. Oh, is it the uh, Enchant deck? I'm sure what deck it is, actually. Enchant deck is really bad for us. Like, really, really bad. A second Meat Hut Massacre is nice. We'll hold up a Vanishing Verse, see what they play down. Planes. Welcoming Vampire, that seems something great to get rid of. Go to attacks. Okay, well, we'll eat this up so they can't keep going through their uh, their decks as well. We're going to play down the Celestus. This helps us to start gaining life, trading for our deck, getting rid of some of these lands which might not be as strong. Uh, no idea. Sacrifice it, get a basic forest, sure. <clears throat> not entirely sure what Opera is playing here. Is this come onto the battlefield? Tapped, it does. So a little bit of ramp for our opponents. Second Celestus. Okay. Um, I think I'm all right playing this down, holding up the <clears throat> holding up the vanishing verse and going to nighttime. Nice, probably 
ditch this Celestus. Okay. What have we got here? Innkeeper, sure. No qualms. Attack in. My turn. How strange. Let's go for this for one. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I'm losing my voice. Go for that for one. Gain a couple of life. And then we're going to get the Kaito down and play the 1-1 one -one ninja. Get out. Ooh, goes to daytime as well. Love that. I think I can ditch this land now. So I've got three great removal spells. <clears throat> Planeswalker that's going to come into action soon. I'll put players on Storm the Festival. So it is a ramp deck. Uh, we don't know how well this is going to work out. We, we shall see. Hopefully we can navigate it. And I think we can. Beautiful. Love that. Um, all right, so what the, the question is, do I just remove this, remove this, attack, and then draw? I think... Oh, it's so sloppy, but... I mean, I could just do this for three. Can't be blocked. Okay. That's uptick. Land. I know something you don't know. What do you, what do you know? Replace that for three. Keep it. Wrap the board. Love that. Gain myself some life, deal a damage to our opponent, and we've still got two very key removal spells in hand. Works excellent, and one of them is a Vanishing Verse, which we can keep up. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Now I'll take, I'm probably just going to hit. Uh, yeah, sure. Like, I'm just going to hit. Hit this for now, or this? We'll probably hit this. Because we've got other removal for Planeswalkers, so, I mean, I'm not... Okay, sure. I'm gonna uptick. And we'll reveal this. Discard now, this. I'm gonna pretend I've top decked this, I think. Oh, mind you. Mind you, mind you, mind you. Monche, Monche. Let's go this down. We all uptick. With me here. Type an artifact, creature. This. And I'm just going to return this back to their hand now, just in case we've got any sort of protection type spells. We'll get rid of the land off the top. This is starting to feel like a little bit of a rollover for our opponent. They're 10 whole mana off casting a storm to festival. <laughs> they had a backup one. They always have the backup one. <clears throat> Probably the worst storm to festival anyone's ever um, stormed. I mean, we're just going to down it with a Teferi and get ourselves a board raffle or another Meteor Massacre, right? Oh, wait, they've no more... No more... Oh, no, they have, they have, they have. Uh, right, we're down tick this. Wonder? That's an interesting one. Keep a creature. I mean, I kind of like doing having the blocker. I'm going to play this in it's and we will pass. Aren't even there. Huh. Uh, I think I'm supposed to get rid of this. Like, a Vanishing Verse is just so much powerful. You know, so much more powerful. Especially in this situation like this. Speak your the trees can Down to a two. Yep. Pass. I mean, what's going to go on here? I'm going to bring this in. I've learned much during my travels. I'm going to let me show you. Create a blocker. Guards. Pass the blocks. Just feels good, right? Just feels good. And get rid of this on our turn. Love it. Scoop there. I mean, we just consolidate. We kill the Ren with the Vigilance creature by tapping that with the Teferi. Uh, absolutely sensational. Um, so the question is now, what do we actually put into the decks? I mean, we can deal with the creatures that they have. Almost like a check for traps because it exile seems really strong. i probably take rid of maybe the Marchers or at least one March... In all honesty, this... Maybe the Soul Shatter goes, you know? 
It deals with planeswalkers, though, doesn't it? it? Deals with planeswalkers. I actually like a go blank here as well. Huh, interesting. Maybe the wonder is not the uh maybe the wonder is not the be all and end all in this list. But I think overall, overall very happy with it. Let's run it out, hoping to pick up that second win. I mean we did did we start on the play there? So we might have um we might have kind of had that as an advantage as well. But hopefully uh what do we have here? Mm, no one black mana. I mean it's an expensive hand. I think I'm supposed to mulligan. Yeah, that's better. Let's keep this. Get rid of a negate for now. Piffing needle. Choose a card name. Activate ability of sorcery of chosen name can't be activated. I mean, uh, annoying. But not as not as mad as they're gonna be. Okay. Let's go for the check for traps, I think. Yeah, it should be check for traps, I think. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wanderer, or the Felidar Retreat, or this. I mean, it could even be this. It could even be this, and just try and keep up removal spells for the next ones. Buys myself a turn. They can't cast anything. Might, might be a mistake, but we'll see. <clears throat> Welcome in Vampire, sure. We're going to pass. We want to see Land Felidar Retreat. Vanishing Verse, great. Let's pass. Okay, we're gonna go. Gonna go blue. Pass. Inferno Grasp. Love that. Love that indeed. This down, say go. Gonna do this for five? Gain some life back? Wait, can I do it for five? Oh, something zero? Nice, love that. We lose the vanishing verse. Well, it's not really lost, is it, you know? Land. Beautiful. Uh, we'll play this down for white and we'll pass. Keep open the Vanishing Verse. We've also got the Memory Deluge. I mean... Sure. I mean, look. Actually, having said that, let's go for the Memory Deluge here. I made a mistake. I should have... Uh... Ah, this is fine now. This is fine. This is fine. What have we got here? Check for trap. Seems good. So, if we play this down. And I hit the check for traps. Beautiful. Piffing needle there, but red and seven goes. Second piffing needle. I mean, what do you, what do you even play for this? I've got no idea. I've got absolutely no idea. I think this is GG's. Well done. Let's go. Next game. Menduba. I need to sit, start sitting up more when I'm gaming. Mulligan. Sounds good to me. We're going to get rid of a Meat Hunt Massacre. Keep open Devari Disruption early on. Keep. There's a good mix of um, uh, control line creatures on the, on the ladder at the minute. I'm really enjoying it. Need to get myself into Mythic though. Hoping to do that by the end of... Uh, hoping to do that by the end of tomorrow in all honesty. Come on, opponent. What are you thinking? A 
opponent. Mulligan. There we go. Not too bad of a mulligan when you're on the draw, right? Because you just kind of go back to I go back to the way things were. I'm gonna play this down and we pass. We've got two removal spells, two counters. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna play this down and we pass. Because I am gonna need the mana, right? Oppo's gonna think they've done really well playing playing around that. Land, say go. Okay. Three removals and a counter now. Is this going to be like a Sorin or something? Welcome in Vampire. Nice. Uh, we're going to pass. Oh, I can actually just deal three, three here. Oops, no, submit zero. Great art for this Welcome in Vampire. Really, really strong art. Uh, I think I'm going to go blue and pass. Look at it. Great art. It's something I never picked up. I, I probably should have done. Ooh. Sure. Pass. Like, what's the what's the purpose? Some sort of flash emperor? Um, I'm gonna just counter it. I think I'm gonna counter it here. They didn't need to Oh, they going, they wanted to pay the Devari disruption cost. Interesting. Edgar. Sure, that's... I think... I think I made a mistake here. I need to... I do need to grasp this to buy myself a little bit more of time. Okay. We're going to play this down. I'm going to get myself a little bit of life. Uh, black mana. I'm going to get myself a little bit of life. Mio Massacre looks quite good here. I mean, if they hit the Hive of the Eye Tyrants to try and get the Teferi, that could be pretty decent. Or they could have a, just a removal spell where they sack this and kill the Teferi, right? That's definitely uh, what they could be doing. Yeah, I think they, they have got that. I mean, it's a shame, isn't it? Right to Oblivion. This is hardly my worst defeat. Sure. Another welcoming vampire. Um... My turn. Okay. They draw if they do that. I think I've got. I think I've got to memory deluge. Like I, I'm not. Black mana. So more mana and an infernal grasp or. Oops. More mana and infernal grasp. But we've got a march. I mean, we can't counter that anyway, right? So I think I'm supposed to go for. Uh, this and a removal spell. When does, it, when does this trigger? At the beginning of your upkeep. Sure. Um. <clears throat> See, they could go hive and take out the memory deluge, which is probably what I would be doing. Sure. No qualms. No qualms at all. Uh, what do we reckon? The Celestus? Celestus, have this ticking away. Pass. Six damage. I mean, the question here is, do they want to attack him with the... Uh, do they want to attack him with a hive of the eye tyrant as well? They do not, apparently. We're down to 12, which is not good. Good sack. Right of Oblivion to kill the... Can they do that? They can do sack to kill the Celestis. Professor. Understood. That's another target for the Miho Massacre. So we, we are... We're gonna, we, we will gain a little bit of life. Then I need a board wrath for this. Right, let's hit the Memory Deluge. Luckily, we can play around counters. Wanderer is nice and the Fading Hope as well. One, two, three, four. Can't really do anything with that. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to just. Maybe I'm supposed to just take these. Maybe I'm supposed to take these. Mm -mm -mm. 
uh, go to night time. Gain a life, sack, draw. And uh, in all honesty, get rid of the vanishing verse. Nice. I really like where we are here. If they if they go for this, I really, really like where we are. Okay. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. This feels pretty good. This feels pretty good. We'll counter whatever they do here. Hmm. Not really counter that, can we? Uh. Sure. Not ideal. Not ideal. But they'll sack one of the. Uh, they'll sack one of these for the rituals, right? They'll sack one of these rights to kill the wanderer. Ooh. No, 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 you're not playing that down. Don't be silly. Oh, no. Uh, my turn. Draw. Beautiful. Ditch this. Seems good. Draw again. Excellent. Play this down for one. Draft the board. Um, and, then, and then the question is, like, do we want them to sack this and spend some mana? And I think we do. I think we do. Like, I'd love to make a, I'd love to make a, 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 a creature and whatnot. But I think I want to try and spur them to use the right of oblivion here. Well, you're gonna have that back in your hand. Silly. Second emperor. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I can deal with the Emperor right now, in all honesty. Question is, wedding announcement, damn. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Let's play this for blue and we'll draw. And we'll draw this. I mean, it's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good. Draw this and maybe the Fading Hopes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, actually, let's thin out the deck a little bit. Let's thin out the deck. We'll play this. We'll play this. And the down tick can create a creature. And I'm going to pass. Okay, seems good. Seems good. We're gonna lose the wonder, I think. Oh wait, they're gonna go for the oblivion. They're gonna write of oblivion. Has to attacks. Let's take this out. So we lose the wanderer. I'm never done for good. Which is a shame. Which is a shame. Sure. Yeah, that's good. All, all, all of these things are really good. All of these things are, are powerful and good. Um, right, so I'm gonna pass, ignore. I'm gonna say yes. Action, draw a card. Ditch the disdainful stroke. Yes. We're gonna lose the whole breaker horror here. We are gonna lose the whole breaker horror, and it's not gonna be good. Although having said that, 
having said that, let's let them go in for an attack. Let's play this down. Oh, I kind of like the. I kind of like this. Kind of like this, indeed. Let's go here, and let's go here. Take this many. Don't lose their lives. Don't don't go land. Don't go land into right of oblivion. Cause I'll be annoyed. There we go. Perfect. A scoop? No way! <laughs> How did they know what I had? I mean, I, I, I absolutely smashed them hands down, but they shouldn't be scooping there. It's just, uh, in my opinion, it's not right. No way. Is this deck making people scoop? Okay. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll take that. Okay, final game, gruesome. Let's see if we can push ourselves to diamond tier one. Play first. And sadly, beautiful cards, but no mana. Okay, we can keep this one. And I think I even... I mean, Celestis is great. I think I'm supposed to get rid of the meat hook. Not, not knowing what my opponent's on, I think I'm supposed to get rid of the meat hook. We're going to play the land. We're going to play the swamp in case we get a removal. Then we've got best of both worlds. Sentinel. Sure. Swamp say go. Mm -mm. No idea what our opponent's going on here. It could be a Magda. There's a Magda. We navigate around that and take one. And let's go for a... Blue Mana into the Celestus. Okay, we're a little bit behind here. We do actually need a board draft ASAP. Stormseeker is great. Like, really, really strong. Uh, four damage we take. Let's see what we draw. Draw a land. So we're going to play this down. Create the 1-1. One, one. And we kill this. Because it gives everything haste, right? So we are taking a bit of a, a bit of damage here. This phases out, so it can't be, can't be damaged. We're just hoping our opponent runs out of mana sources so we can start digging with the memory deluge. Nope, they got it. Brew took a far on my token. Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. Mm, what do they have here? Oh, damn. That's not good, is it? Uh, right, so let's go for a Deluge first. Try and get mana and something. Just double mana, eh? Draw a card, discard a card. I mean... Gotta discard this, right? Gotta discard this. Sure. So, the Brutokafar kills the Kaito. We've got a second Kaito in hand. Uh, okay, that's a decent whack of mana. They could be going for a gold span dragon, maybe? Although, to be fair, they would have played this down as red if they had it. If they had the gold span, I think. Okay, so Kaito has remained um, un un unlooked after, unnurtured. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's some serious counter counter intelligence. Ooh. Ooh, minus one creature? Neo Massacre off the top is just absolutely gas for us here, right? Sure. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do at all. Okay. So, I think I'm supposed to play this down and down tick. Because the card draw that I potentially get from it is going to be excellent. If the powerful won't help, I'll so, it fades out, right? It's there and it fades out. So my opponent can attack him for three, plus this, if they decide to go for it. But I de I'm desperately in need of mana here. 
desperately, desperately need a mana. I say no. Oh, they get to draw a card. I forgot about that because it's a werewolf, isn't it? Ah. Little punt on my, my on my part there. Okay, I need a board right. Let's go for an attack. Can you imagine if we draw a meat on mascara for this? I said, can you imagine if we draw a meat on mascara for this? Ah, dear, dear, dear. Is this GG's? Is this GG's? You want to activate that for 5, my friend. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Takes it down to 12. I mean, unless you got something decent in hand. Well, it takes it down to 2, sorry, not 12. Sure. Oh, no big deal. I'll try again later. No qualms. Let's just look at the top six cards. No, no, no big deal there. No big deal. First strike. Whenever this creature ends the battlefield, transform it. Look at the three and three. I think I need to pass here. Like, it's GG's, sadly. Pavlora. Target where we go if you control against Trample. Oh, yeah, damn. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Which one? Which one? Damn. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, who? Where? The energy of battle, then guide it like water. Have you got a protection spell? You haven't got any, uh, you haven't got any red mana, have you? You have got a protection spell. You got a pump spell here, or maybe you haven't. <laughs> you are not much of a roadblock. Draw, sure. Can I please have a board draft? Ah. That's very good, isn't it? I mean, there we go. <clears throat> I did ask politely. I did ask politely. <clears throat> Should probably done this for four, just in case I've got a buff. Gonna make the make the, make the two two. See you later. Ooh hoo hoo. Guards, to me. Okay. So at the minute the soul shatter is looking decent for this. And Magda. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Probably take the five here, right? Probably have to take the five, because if not, I'm just dead. Going to have to do this, <clears throat> annoyingly. Oh, Vanishing Verse is just excellent. It's just so, so good. Uh, really, really strong. OK, 
Okay. Draw land off the top. Go on. You know you want to. Nice. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. Let's take that. Feels good to me. We block. Deal of damage, gain alive. Devour disruption. We play this down tapped and we pass. So I'd love to be able just to kill this with the whole breaker horror. The treasure token they could sack. Nice. We gain a life. Love that. Have you got a creature? I know you haven't got anything that deals five damage. They're wondering whether to scoop. Pass. That's our attack here. Maybe I'm supposed to attack. I think I'm supposed to attack, you know? Ooh, ho, 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 the deck is so strong. So, so strong. Uh, so heavy creature deck, so we're going to go Power Wave Kills. We're going to go uh, Soul Shatters, Doom Scars. I'm going to take away the Negates, I think. Check for traps, maybe goes. Vanishing Verse is awesome, I think, still. Uh, do, 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 do. Maybe take out Disdainful Stroke. There's lots of early creatures. And maybe even... Maybe even take out one Memory Delusion, put another Meat Hook Massacre and just really... In fact, not, not the Meat Hook. Take that Meat Hook and put this Doom Scar in. Just get the board drafts, shore up the, shore up the, uh, uh, the, the, the board state for us, and then we'll just take over. Beautiful. Like we should have been dead and buried there, but the resilience was just great. Okay. So game two. Hopefully we can. Uh, hopefully we can win it quite quickly. Can this decide on whether to go first or not? I would suggest that they do. I would definitely would suggest that they do. Beautiful. Eh, we can keep this. No blue mana, annoyingly, but Vanishing Verse, Doom Scar, Meal Massacre. I mean, it gives us enough to do, doesn't it, on the, on the first couple of turns. Ooh. Technically, technically, this is better. Because <clears throat> if they play a two-mana ramper, we kind of want to be getting rid of the Fading Hope with it, right? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sure. Let's go... Let's get the Doom Scar into the side. They're going to think it's some sort of counter spell, I assume. I, th I think they're going to say, kind of, you know, didn't see it coming. Cover up. Nice. We're going to go Celestus to Ramp, Fading Hope to Hand, waste their entire turn. Another Vanishing Verse, I think we can put at the bottom for the time being. Like, there might be a chance we should fly a deck a little bit later on, um, but I think we do need to get into a position whereby we can start thinking about Meal Massacres. I mean, that's great, isn't it? That sets us back a turn, but it also means no creatures for them. So, what do you do? Uh, we're going to pass. See, them being delayed here has led to us drawing a card. Which, you know. Mm -mm. Discard this. I kind of want to try and just... 
Kind of want to just try and make them sack. I should have done the uh, Celesta so I can keep up the Fading Hope. Lesson learnt. Lesson learnt indeed. I guess let's bring this back to hand. Have you got a second one? You haven't got a second one. I know you haven't. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll keep that. <clears throat> that seems good to me. If they play this down without any lands, then, like, no protection. Just brilliant if they did. Action. Beautiful. Discard the card. Oh, forgot about that. I say no, actually. Don't want to. Ah. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for a Meat Hall Massacre. Gain of life. Okay, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? If you do this, that's hilarious. Uh, I'm going to play this down. And I'm going to pass. I'm literally just going to pass here. Like, I'm just gaining life and drawing cards here. So my opponent needs to make decisions. Draw a card. I'm going to ditch the Doom Scar. Uh, no, it should be a Meteor Massacre. It should be the Meteor Massacre. Okay. We're gonna hit this now. If they've got a um if they've got another snakeskin veil, then they're just probably one of the luckiest gamers in the world. Now. We gain a life. We kill the Celestus. Annoying. Play the Tovlar down and we wrap the board, maybe? I'm just going to pass and, and wonder it. I'm just going to pass and wonder it. Screw him. <laughs> Keep my board wraps up. I, I really do like the prospect. I mean, okay, that's annoying. That is annoying. Yeah, they've got something here. Could be the activation from this. No, it can't be. No, they've got the they've top deck to sneak skin bail. Damn. I hope you're ready Damn. To lose. Nice, nice sneak skin bail there. Good, good top deck. Good top deck. You didn't. What is it then? What, what have you got? That's it's confusing me. Sad to see you go. Have you got the Tamio thing? Gonna wrap the board here. Our stance. I like to make a creature, right? Because I guess that's that. <sighs> Annoying. I didn't. I didn't even think about this. Should have done. Should definitely should have done. They're gonna double. Flick this. Who took a thar? Sure. Uh, we're gonna prevent some damage here. Play this him. Wrath the board. Uh, yep. Okay. That feeds the graveyard, which we know we do have layers. Could we have pass here? Or it could be land creature. Magda. Oh, damn. Okay. I do like the Wanderer. But we are in a bit dire straits here, I think, because my uh, my opponent blessed them. They're in a much better position than we are. Uh, yep, that seems good. Anything more? <laughs> Land. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I should probably just keep this in hand, right? I should probably just keep this in hand. That's two attacks. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. <laughs> you are not much of a roadblock. Love that. And? Good Cathar. We're going to change this to daytime. Take the action. Pitch one of these. Play this in. Um, and then I think I'm supposed to just draw with this because if I don't, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I have this, I've got three mana to do what with? Howard kill. Yeah, sure. That's, that's fine. Let's do this. Let's do this and this. This is going to die. So... <clears throat> I'm gonna make a samurai because that's at least a blocker or one of them. I guess that's it then. I guess that is it. Do the talking. I guess that is it. I mean, to be fair, to say we've had nothing, we've managed to be quite, you know, pervasive here. Which one? Which one's getting the? Uh, which one's getting the deeds? This one. Yep. Me and Mask are still doing some work here. Uh, whoa, whoa, we'll take. We'll take and we will ditch. Wow. Just sensational. Like I'm just I'm just in awe. I'm just in awe at this. Like the wonder I probably dies this turn to some sort of haste shenanigans. No, oh dear lord, okay. I'm loving that. Again, let's just ditch it. Draw again, Miho Massacre. Uh we'll be playing this in. We'll be putting a counter on it. And then yeah, we just win, I think. Like because we've got Fading Hopes, the March, the Vanishing Verse. I think our opponent's just scoops, and, and we're going to Diamond Tier 1. And, yeah, I'm just really, really happy with, with the performance. I mean, we should probably be Vanishing Verse the, the Ranger class, actually. Uh, yeah, that, that, that could be a punt in the end. Pass. If we go through, we do Vanishing Verse the, the Ranger class, and then we're, then we're home and dry, I think. Beautiful. So that was a punt there. We should really have prioritized doing that. Okay. My turn. Land. Let's put the counter on this. Let's attack in. Remember your training. Remember your training, she says. Let's try and attack in anyway. I think I'm supposed to just. I play this in. And I'm going to play this down just because I think it's just worth it. I take action. Like, I, I ditch the Miho Massacre here, right? Because we've got the Doom Scars. Pass. Pass. Yeah, draw. Love it. Ditch this. Just get more just get more stuff, you know? So it's all it's all about stuff. It's all about how much you can do and what you can force. They get in activations over here, here, here. 
We've got the, got the Hallbreaker Horror that we're going to drop in, and it's going to be absolutely devastating. It really, really is. I, I just can't see a way out of our, for our opponent here. Nice. Pass. Let's pass. Uh, I mean, they definitely scoop when, when we hit this. Is that a fateful absent? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we'll have enough. Can't be countered. All the good stuff. GG's. Thank you very much for the games, Oppo, but just absolutely outclassed with this deck. Let's go. So there you have it. What do you think of the list? It's absolutely pervasive on the ladder, and I'm not sure what's going to be able to stop it. Maybe we're going to see some Orzhov coming back. There was a couple of games there where I think our opponents could have at least leveled, if not beat us, if they'd have kept putting the feet on the gas, but it just wasn't the case. So anyway, guys, I've been Adi. Make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Catch me on Twitch.tv five days a week on the link down below. Drop me a comment to see if you've played the list. Are you tempted to spend some of your precious wild cards on it? I'm really interested to know. Anyway, guys, until the next video, stay fit, stay healthy, and I will see you again soon.